9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Brett Paganski. All right, we're just hours away from the solar eclipse and already eclipse mania is taking over the tri-state. WCPO 9 News reporter Madeline Adderley went out to Metamora, which sits right in the path of totality and shows you how businesses are opening their doors to hundreds of customers eager to see the eclipse. Here at Granny's Ice Cream Shop, the number of cookie jars typically outnumbers the number of customers. I mean, how could it not? They've got thousands inside the store. But tomorrow, those tables might turn as the shop prepares for an influx of customers from all over the world. We are in the Guinness Book of Records for the world's largest cookie jar collection. Clowns, mice, and taxi cabs. Over 3,200 different ones. You name it, Connie Regal's probably got it. I like the M&M's because they're happy little critters. <laughs> it's like you never see a mad M&M. And you don't often see an unhappy customer. Let's do the sea turtle. Even this week as they line up out the door. We were lined up yesterday for probably three hours. But it's not just for Connie's cookie jars. Thank you, ladies. Have a good weekend. This week, they were here for the solar eclipse. We're supposed to pass them out. Metamora is in the path of totality, meaning it'll experience a total solar eclipse. I'm skipping Monday. Josiah, Flint, Isaac, and Levi came in from Illinois. I know there's three kinds of solar eclipse. Others even farther. We're from a little town called Yately in England. Martin and Wendy have seen two before. Been really lovely, Ben. Been in less touristy areas, seeing some of the sort of real America that you don't really see on UK TV. Towns like Metamora have been gearing up for the mania. I've been making waffle cones all week long. <laughs> we was counting yesterday. I had 880 waffle cones done. And now we're just hours away until it's over. It's never got this crazy. We just love all these astronomical events there. Well, they should be once in a lifetime. Is it something that's so unique that to be part of it is quite exciting. The full eclipse is set to begin just after 3 p.m. There are so many people here who are just so excited for it. In Metamora, Madeline Adderley, WCPO 9 News.